doesn't just go flying right now because it's getting windy um, so thank you for, for hitting that play button again it's getting cold here up in, in, in the north in Canada uh, but I'll try my best to make as many of my videos outdoors see I don't have gloves my nose is gonna be red so just get used to that uh, I'll have probably mucus flying off of my nose every now and then get used to it it's winter and I'm still here trying to make the videos outdoors as much as I can in this video, I want to talk about the most important thing in life. Absolutely, the most important thing in life. The source of everything uh, to human existence, I think, is sound health. It's good health. I think that being healthy is the source of everything. It's the source of love. It's the source of energy. It's the source of power. It's the source of strength. It's the source of confidence. Um, being in good health if you're not in good health you get a lot of shitty ideas that's what happens right you get a lot of shitty ideas and you start to get in a negative headspace and you start to be mean to other people and you start to just become foggy you have a mental fog and you have a physical fog and you're fatigued and a host of negative patterns and behavior starts to emerge as a result of not taking care of your health so here's the thing guys right now I'm working a part-time job right in a coffee shop so I serve people coffee and donuts and stuff like that. And um, it's given me a really good perspective on society uh, because, you know, coffee shop is a mainstream place. You get a good sample of society, the people that are coming in into the society. You get a good sample. This is the mainstream, right? And I interact with all the customers and I kind of I kinda like, I actually like working there. Um, the people I work with are cool, the customers, some of the interactions, it's really cool. Uh, and it's teaching me a lot, you know, everything, it's teaching me a lot. So, what I'm learning, I'm learning that the vast majority of people are sleep deprived. This is what I'm learning firsthand. I don't need fucking studies to show me because I talk to customers, I talk to them. Uh, and the vast majority of people are walking around in life, navigating through life, sleep deprived. Now that, that is a big problem. That is a huge problem because that tells me something. That tells me that our priority as a society is not good health, but is producing more money and increasing the bottom line and working up this machine that we're working in. At the cost of human health, which inevitably costs you your happiness, your joy, costs you love, costs you, you know, lots of things. And it's really tragic that with all this technology that we have right now, with all these advancements, with everything that we've come up with as a humanity, uh, we have solutions, we have energy solutions right now, we can legit make the world run on renewable energy, we can legit feed, shelter everyone, that still we're not doing that. We're just continuing to work up this machine at the cost of our health, right? So I know when I used to be in university and I used to be very unhealthy, I used to be eating junk food, pizza, uh, and sleep deprived, every fucking student in university sleep trip deprived right um, man I remember the headspace I was in was very negative extremely negative I was pessimist as a pessimistic person uh, I thought everything is meaningless uh, I just absolutely thought that the world is, is a hell realm I thought it's, it's a place where demons and quote-unquote right metaphorically speaking it's a demonic place it's a satanic place it's a dark place right and 
that's because all my patterns were negative my health my health first thing is my health I was sleep deprived I was eating shitty food I wasn't exercising enough uh, sometimes at all because I had to study and, 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 and try to pass these exams and stuff I used to drink alcohol uh, on every weekend like everyone else does because you know you're just trying to fit in and I used to smoke cigarettes I smoked cigarettes for four years uh, I was a regular pack buyer pack smoker and it was getting really bad towards the end and no wonder I was in such a negative space no wonder I thought ill of people no wonder I couldn't trust people no wonder I thought the world is a mess no wonder uh, I I just you know completely at times lost hope on humanity and the world and on myself on myself right because I was creating an environment within me that is perfect for the growth of negative thoughts and negativity in my life and this is how I want you to look at at, at, at your body and this is how I want you to look at your health look at it don't don't separate mind body soul it's all the same shit it's the same trip when you don't take care of your your health right and you know what that separation has to be made at times let's say you don't take care of your physical health what is happening simultaneously it's happening at the same time because they're all connected is you're just like you know in, in your bathroom if you don't wash your wash your bathroom mold and bacteria starts to grow in the same way if you don't take care of your physical health sh surely maybe even slowly but surely maybe sometimes really quickly that you're creating an, an, a beautiful, wonderful environment, amazing environment, the best environment for negative ideas to blossom, for negativity to blossom in your life. And dare I say for demons to come and visit you and, and, and whisper uh, demonic, negative, uh, you're a worthless piece of shit and everything else is shit kind of thoughts in your, in your mind. You see? So you're, it's this environment. Whereas think of walking into a garden right now that is an environment where flowers want to grow right that is an environment where if you're in love with a woman or you're in love with a man ideally you want to go to a garden because it's this oof, it's this place of love and it's just, just beautiful and it's just amazing and you feel wonderful well that's because the gardener took care of the garden took care of the soil blessed the soil um, you know and just you know showed love to the earth showed love to its environment and by default those beautiful amazing flowers that have the you know this just the scent and the beauty it, it's it just grows in that garden because the gardener is taking care of the garden in the same way this is the garden here and by taking care of it by taking care of every aspect of it you're gonna allow positive ideas to blossom you're gonna allow positivity to blossom you're gonna allow love to blossom you're gonna allow joy happiness to blossom in this garden here right here you see I think this is my belief my belief is that if if the first step to build a new world that is based on love and 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 just amazing things the first step is you go to every individual and you tell that individual don't worry about anything take care of your health take care of your health right now go and catch up on all the sleep if people were to get off coffee right now they would sleep for days on end coffee just continuously masks the problem of fatigue which is natural your body's telling you dude I need to relax dude this I can't be I'm overworked oh, oh, oh. but you're not listening and as a result a bunch of host of problems emerge right and and then you feel tired blah 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 blah, blah. but what I say I say the first step to building this new world is not to come up with grandiose ideas and and, 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 and and grandiose visions and all of that that's nice but tell people take care of your physical health 
this is almost your duty towards society. You know, we're all taxpayers. And this tax money, a lot of it goes to healthcare, right? And a lot of people are getting sick and costing society because of their ignorance um, of their own well-being, right? They're costing society money. Money that can otherwise go into better use, right? I'm just giving you an example here. So I think it's our duty as a society to live a healthy life. And, and, and by default, we will all be happier. We will all be much more likely to love one another, to be kinder to each other. You guys know when you go to the gym and after that, a wonderful workout, don't you just feel fantastic? Don't you just feel amazing? Aren't you just nice to everyone? Um, I remember when I was working corporate, I worked corporate for a year as an internship. I remember going into the gym super pissed after work, super pissed. I don't, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm, a, I'm almost like a dick. I don't, I don't want to talk to anyone because I don't want to be a dick to people. I'm, I realize that, so I just don't talk to people. And after the workout, I would be the nicest guy, man. I remember, I would be like smiling at everyone. I'd go talk to the front desk people and chat up about their lives and stuff. I feel good because now, you know, I release the stress and I feel healthy. I feel like this is what my body's meant to do. So if you want to build this new world, we got to take care of our healths. Physical, number one, physical health. Take care of your physical health. And then watch the mental transform and watch the spiritual health transform. Eat right. Sleep, 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 sleep. Relax, meditate, chill. We got to stop this because we don't need to work all that much. As a society, we don't. We have all the resources. We have everything that we need right now to feed the entire world population and shelter them and clothe them and I need gloves too so if somebody can send me a good pair of gloves <laughs> I'm kidding um, but what I'm saying guys is honor your health um, honor your health honor your health honor your health I don't know how else to say it honor your health Place it as the foundation, as the cornerstone of a successfully lived life. For me, certainly, if I can get up every single morning and I feel healthy, I can make these videos. Uh, I can be, I can have wonderful conversations with people, which I have on a daily basis. Um, I can be a source of inspiration. I can, I can be, I can be a source of love. I can be a source of appreciation. But that's because I wake up. I'm healthy. I feel good. I feel good right now, guys. I feel amazing right now. You know, I feel healthy. I feel strong. I took a cold shower this morning and um, I woke up early, sleep. I slept nine hours and I feel good. I feel, I feel, oh man, and the day is just starting. It's like 8.30 a.m. right now. The day is just starting. I feel amazing. And this is, this is how I feel almost every day, you know, with the occasional sickness, but this is how I feel almost every day. Almost every day I wake up feeling, dare I say, like a fucking God. And why not? And why not? We are divine beings. We have the divine spark within us. So, yeah, this is how it should be. This is how we should all, we, like Wim Hof says, we have, our natural state is happiness, strength, and health. And this is it, guys. This is our natural state. So take care of your health. God bless you all. God bless me too. God bless everyone. Uh, and let's just not, don't be like a, like a, an annoying preacher to people about health. Show them what it's good to be healthy. Show them, let them see it. Be the change you want to see in the world, okay? That's it. The cornerstone, the foundation to a successfully lived, happily lived life full of joy, love, and all this good bullshit is good health. Check out my free book, Five Powerful Habits to Dominate Life in All Areas. I gotta move my mouth because it's it's getting cold. Ah! Uh, other than that, I love you guys, love every single one of you, but don't forget to subscribe or you're gonna sleep with the fishes.